Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing an illumination device made by Thrunite, which is one of my favorite flashlight making companies. It's a style of illumination device, it's not something that I've tended to use for myself, and that is because it is a rifle mounted lamp right here. I, I don't tend to use these for myself because they're kind of a mixed bag. If you're using a, a firearm for uh, self-defense purposes, it does give you a better ability to, to see out in front of you, uh, but it's also like a beacon that says, hey, here I am. So, uh, you know, I've always kind of had mixed feelings about them, but like I said, I really, really like the Thrunite company. I've reviewed several of their lamps in the past. They uh, They've always impressed me by being really durable, uh, well made in terms of ergonomics, and just very functional uh, lamps. They're what I tend to keep in my EDC pack. I have a headlamp that they've made. I've got another flashlight that they've made. I really like their product. So when they asked me if I would like to review this, even though I'm not a big fan of this particular type of lamp, I said absolutely. I would love to check out what you guys have created because I bet you guys have created something really nice. And I think they have. This is the TW10, uh, and uh, some of the things that I like about it, uh, uh, well, in particular, I like that it's really small profile. Uh, it's It stays kind of low and squat on this top rail here. So my scope, when I look through it, I get like just the tiniest bit of a little bit of haze just on the bottom of my field of view, but it's not really interfering with anything. The, the scope was already up on this little riser here. I didn't have to do anything to kind of like bring it up higher or anything. It, it really worked out really nice from that regard. Also, uh, the usability of it is kind of cool. I have had a couple of uh, pistol mounted lamps before and they were kind of like just on off functionality. Uh, this one has on off functionality. You click a little button and it goes on. You click a button and it goes off. And there's buttons on both sides uh, depending on, you know, which uh, handedness you are. Um, but uh, in addition to that, it has kind of a, a cool feature that, you know, maybe this is common, but I haven't run across this before. And that is that if you just hold the button down, you can leave it on for a while and then you just let go and it turns off. So quick click turns it on, it stays on. Hold click stays on while you're holding it, and then when you let go, it turns off. So that kind of tends to address a little bit of that, you don't want to give away your position kind of thing because you have really quick control over how to you know, get the thing turned off again. Uh, in terms of installing, like I said, it just goes on this top rail. There's a little finger screw here that uh, just twists. I'm not sure whether this really needs to be demoed. I mean, it's fairly self-explanatory, but uh, just screws, squeeze, and the thing comes off and then installs just as, uh, as easily on there. If I was gonna have one critique of this lamp, uh, I think the only thing is uh, just the style of battery that it uses. Uh, and I'm not faulting the company for choosing the style of battery. I can't remember what the name of it is. I'm gonna put it up on the screen here, what it uses. Um, but the only thing that I'm, I'm not a fan uh, of is the fact that it's not a double A or a triple A battery. Uh, and I know what the reason that they chose this battery has a longer uh, shelf life, uh, or not a longer, a longer run time. Uh, it has more power than a double A AA or triple A battery. But I always love it when companies are able to try to figure out how to use a double A AA or a triple A battery because they're so easy to come by especially if you were in kind of a, an emergency event where you know maybe you know you you don't have as much access to things as you would like uh, you know having devices that run on really common really easy to source batteries i think is is a benefit because you know you probably have lots of double a's and triple a's in your house already maybe a bunch of rechargeables you know certainly if you're at a store you know they might be out of this kind of battery because it's kind of a unique thing, but you know, if they have anything, they're gonna have double A's and triple A's. So I always like devices that kind of lean towards that, but I also understand why they didn't go that way because this way it lasts longer and all that kind of stuff. In terms of recharging it, it is rechargeable. There's a little USB charging port in the back and you just kind of plug it in you know, the normal way that you charge, uh, recharge uh, USB devices. So as a hit or a miss, I would say this is definitely a hit. The TW10 works really well. Uh, it's easy to use. It's a small profile. It's easy to install. You know, I, I, I like the thing. So I would say definitely thumbs up again for Through Night. Really great company that makes really great products. In terms of the rifle that it's mounted on, I just want to give a quick plug to where I got this from. This is a CZ uh, Bren, and it was made by Ryan Jeske over at Prescott Caliber Club. He's one of the uh, channel sponsors here uh, for this channel. Uh, he's a friend of mine, and he's a really nice person and a really uh, competent, and he's one of those people that. Um, He's one of the people that enjoys what he does and wants to do it at a level of quality just for the sake of doing things at a high level of quality. There are not a lot of people out there, that, you know, a lot of people they just like, you know, 
quality level is the bare minimum just to get the product out the door. Ryan's not like that. He really wants to do a good job on whatever he's doing. And he worked really hand in hand with me to get me this rifle because I moved uh, to come to my new homestead. I moved from a location where uh, the firearms laws were pretty liberal um, in terms of uh, being like, there, there weren't many, <laughs> you know, you could just do what you wanted. Uh, I moved to this uh, new state where the uh, firearms laws are, you know, they're a little dr uh, draconian. I had an AR-15 build rifle uh, and I, I couldn't bring it here. And it was, it was kind of ambiguous because the, the, the laws in this state, there's a mosquito, uh, we got, we got other, other weapons for them. <laughs> um, uh, the laws in this state, uh, they were a little difficult to uh, navigate. They were a little, it was a little difficult to figure out exactly what the law was. It was uh, really frustrating and um, kind of irritating. And he really worked with me to find out what was legal uh, and to, to make sure that I had something that wasn't other weapons. There we go, okay. Um, uh, that wasn't something that was gonna get me in trouble. So he helped me to build this rifle. It's chambered for 5.56, just like the AR build that I had. It's essentially the exact same thing, just it's more irritating to put together because the, you know the laws require you know this can only be so long and that can only be so long and for the, the handle I had to have this kind of paddle grip thing here which in my opinion if anything makes the rifle more dangerous because it's harder to handle you can't get your hand around the uh, around the grip there uh, but if you are in a state where the firearms laws are, are tricky or irritating or anything like that I'd highly recommend Prescott Caliber Club to set you up with something that is a, a really good quality product that will make sure that it's legal for your area so that you don't create your own little mini SHGF situation by getting yourself in trouble with the law, which is a whole bunch of uh, hassle. And if you can avoid it, you know, why not try to do that? So thumbs up on the Through Night TW10, thumbs up on the CZ Bren from Prescott Caliber Club. Overall, really happy with this package and um, both really well made platforms. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.